God took care of Ruth and Naomi, so I know he'll take care of me and my homies. Welcome, everybody, to the Jay Sadie Variety Show, and praise the Lord. Howdy, everybody. I'm Jay Sadie Gray, and I'm here with my sister, Lenny. Isn't that right, Lenny? That's right, Sadie. Well, physics is the topic today. I was blessed to work in an MRI department for over 10 years, and it amazed me how an image of our innards can be made from a magnet and radio frequency and absolutely no radiation, none whatsoever. Well, we're going to discuss the powerful effect of a magnet has on our body, but we want to start with a song by our Knoxville's own Ashley Cleveland singing Power in the Blood. That was Power in the Blood. Great message in that song. We said earlier we were going to talk about physics, magnets, and power. 
So as I said, I worked in an MRI department. And MRI stands for Magnetic Residence Imaging. And the whole process starts with a powerful magnet. And the magnet I worked with was 1.5 Tesla strong, which is about 10,000 times the magnetic pull of the Earth. It was a powerful thing. It would pull a hammer right out of your hand, so you best not be between the hammer and the magnet. I felt the neatest thing about MRI was a thing called the magnetic moment. The moment is when a person is put inside the magnet and their body's protons turn to align with a magnetic field. You can't see it on the outside. The difference takes place on the inside and the protons turn towards the power of the magnet. That's how it was when I was 10 years old. I turned to a power source. That source was my Heavenly Father. Like the body's protons turning toward the magnetic field and aligning with it, I aligned my life with my Heavenly Father. That whole magnetic process took place in my heart. It was a difference that took place on the inside of me. You know, we read in Ruth chapter 1 and verse 16 that Ruth had a magnetic moment. And when she turned her life over to the God of the Jews, Ruth said to her mother-in-law, Entreat me not to leave thee, or return from following after thee. For whither thou goest, I will go, and where thou lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people, and thy God, my God. What a powerful force she turned to, the power of God. Isn't that right, Lenny? That's right, Sadie. Well, we'd like to share another song with you. And here is the I Worship singer singing, All Hail the Power of Jesus' Name.
pick song, and today we're going to share a craft with you. I saw it on Pinterest using magnets. And by the way, do y'all remember your grandma's having a button box? Well, ours did. And we don't have the box, but we have some of the buttons from there. And we put them in a mason jar with a lid on it. That way we can see all the different buttons. Some have scallops and some have tiny glass diamonds and some have odd shapes and some even have a lot of different beautiful colors. Anyway, all you need are buttons, a hot glue gun, and thin little round magnets. Put a drop of glue on the magnet, then put a button on top of the glue and just let it dry. Use them on your fridge to hold notes, and if you have a stainless steel fridge, use a small cookie sheet and hang it on the wall and use it as your family message board. Something else we want to share with you is that our Lord Jesus loves you and wants to give you the gift of eternal life. And if you want this gift, just pray this prayer with me. Just say, Dear Jesus, I need you in my life. I acknowledge and confess that I have sinned, and I ask forgiveness. Thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. I believe you are the Son of God, and that you rose from the dead, and are alive today. And I receive you as my Savior and Lord. Please make me the kind of person you want me to be, and control my life from now on. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Well, if you prayed that prayer and you believe it in your heart, you just got saved, and call somebody and tell them the great news and find yourself a Bible-believing church and read your Bible every day. That's part of what helps Lenny and I get through difficult times. Isn't that right, Lenny? That's right, Sadie. We'd love to hear from you, especially if you just made Jesus the Lord of your life. Isn't that right, Lenny? That's right, Sadie. So write to us today and let us know if you made that decision, or maybe you might have a prayer request, a question, a comment. All you have to do to reach us is just call here at this station or email us at contact at jsadiegray.com or on Facebook at j.sadiegray, G-R-A-Y. Our books are available online at barnesandnoble.com and amazon.com or contact us through email or Facebook. Also, our books are available at Hastings and Maryville, Jellicoe Family Museum in Jellicoe, Hoskins and Clinton, and Gifts from Above in La Follette. And we have other merchandise available, such as artwork and gift items with our artwork on them. Just contact us either through the station or online. And our radio shows are now being archived on GodTube.com. Just search for J. Sadie Gray, all small letters and no spaces, and click on the word channel. And to listen to whichever show you want, just push on that. And thanks for listening today, and we pray for each of you to be blessed. And we'll leave you now with the Katinas singing, Draw Me Close. Jesus' name.